You we did? wanted to do something to celebrate Caroline Flack's life. We felt as if we hadn't really had the chance to give her a proper send-off because of COVID. Yeah. And actually, it's pretty difficult to grieve uh, alone. You kind of need to be together with your friends. We, yeah. we, we weren't able to do that, as was the case for so many yeah. people through COVID. We thought a great way of doing just that would be to do the thing that Caroline loved most, which was to dance, to sing and to laugh. So we're bringing together dance, comedy and music at Flaxstock on Monday. Caroline was friends with everybody. And since she died, it's brought so many people together. Um People that you're like, oh, my God, you were friends with her as well. And really good friends with her. So that's kind of what happened with us. And it was Nat that came to me about the festival with this <clears throat> idea, like, you know, how would you feel about doing it? And if I'm honest with you, my initial feeling was that my heart sunk. I was like, how could we possibly ever pull that off? That's no joke. On a personal level, I don't know about you, Dawn, but I've actually found just the process of organising this festival very healing um, because we have made so many connections. And I have moments with her mum. Her mum will laugh in a way or her twin sister will do something, you know, a little mannerism that reminds me of her and, and that in itself is is very positive and healing as part of the process. Caroline was a rock star through and through but she was really loyal and this feels like us remaining loyal to her her legacy not forgetting her making sure that no one forgets her. <laughs> no, well, they well, I think that was actually <laughs> one of so her mum's big fears they as well. So her mum did say you know I just don't I want people to keep talking about her in that way we, we absolutely are.